Look, um, I need to speak now because um, I'm feeling pretty nervous. Uh, take the power out of the silence. Thank you. What's that? I'm too close. Right, give me a second. Is that better? I am nervous. Um, Thank you, David, for facilitating the meeting. Um, this thing thrives on isolation, so this connection means a lot. I actually wish I was there to pick up my chip. I'm, I'm actually so sad that I made my own wee chip last week. 30 days, 50 pence, covered in Tipex. Uh, I like to have things, you know. It was in my pocket. Anyways, stay one again. I could say that I was bored. I was. More than anything else, I just wanted to get out of my own head. You know, it's um, it's so busy. But as soon as I left the flat, I knew I'd fucked up. The door slammed behind me. I'd left my keys, my phone, my Monzo card. And I pride myself on not being the type of person to uh, pay someone to come and break into your own house. They always just fly around with a piece of magic glass that can charge you half a month's rent. Fuck that. I had 20 pounds in my pocket and I was getting fired down. I went down to Lucky's and got a bottle. People always think that if you've got a substance abuse problem, you can take your drink, but I cannot. I am a lightweight. I went back and got a second bottle and this, this is when it gets a little bit hazy. I remember seeing two Romanians sitting on a church step. I, I went over and introduced myself. They told me to fuck off. I don't, I don't blame them. I think it was then that I got the Valium off. I mean, I wouldn't know that I'd had it, but the next day my tongue was blue proper rat poison stuff. I remember being on my back in the ambulance. I'm pretty sure the police were involved. I was definitely flirting with a lassie in uniform. What's your name? I don't know, what's your name? You got someone we can contact? I'm going to contact you. I think they tried to leave me there, but the neighbours kept calling them back. He's trying to break into his house. He keeps trying to fall asleep in the middle of the road. He keeps shouting something about a Monzo card. So they came back and took me to hospital. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to hospital for drink or drugs, but you've got four hours. Observation. And it goes a little bit something like this. Am I wasting your time? No, you're all right, son. Just stay there. No, I am, but I'm gonna... I'm wasting your time. No, no, son, just hold that against your head and then you'll be fine. No, I know, I know, it's okay. I'll go, I'm wasting your time. After four hours, am I wasting your time? Ah, you are, son. You are wasting all of our time. Go home. But I hadn't had very much luck getting back into my house. I saw a pay phone. I'd lost all my money. But I did still have my chip. My 30 day chip. So I scratched the tipex off the 50 pence and I put it in and I called the only number I know of by heart. I don't remember my dad taking me out to the car, but I can imagine. I bet he went back into the ward and apologized on my behalf. I am so sorry. He's always been a bit like this. I am sorry. What's your name? Linda. I've been clapping for you, Linda, every Thursday night. Thank you so much. He wasn't too much trouble, was he? Thank you. When we got back to his, I drank. 
a lot. And I lay back on the couch and I realized that the, for the first time in 30 days, I was not in pain anymore. And I thought back to when I was a child, before all this. And they could see me, my shoulders, they were, they were loose. And I wasn't carrying all this shit. You know what? When I was in treatment, they asked us to write a letter to ourselves as a child, you know. Soothe them. Tell them it's going to be okay. I want him to tell me it's going to be okay. My dad starts playing something on the guitar and God only knows by the Beach Boys. I want to sing along, but I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself not to cry. So I ask him where the string section is. You see, the thing you need to know about me is that I've always wanted 